Hello, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your woman Angela K. O. D. Today we are making yam balls. But if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for my subscribers and everyone watching my videos, thank you so much. I really appreciate your love and support. May God bless you. Come with me and let's make this delicious yam balls. For our ingredients, we'll be needing some eggs, breadcrumbs, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, grey pepper, chili, onion. We are using a pink salmon. This is walnuts for the frying of the veggies, salt to taste, and pepper. And this is our oil for frying. And this is the yam we are using. We are using puna, but you can also use any yam of your choice. And remember that. Yams are all, it's also like potatoes, but this one is better, it tastes better and it's more sweet than potatoes. So this is what we are using for our yam balls. Uh, and we are going to add our salt to it. It's very important because when you add it this way, you really get the yams very, very tasty. Yeah, and it's pulled out, so it doesn't need a lot of salt to it. Puna for young boss, it's a must. Look, said the baron is a jarno, and you get choppy dinner. Wow, said they say J. Jarno. It's the best yam when making. The yam balls, it gives a lot of flavor. It's really, really nice because you get you really get the consistency that you need for your yam balls. So I, I really love using puna for my yam balls. to mash the yam and it really needs to be very fine chopped in your so this is our chopped a uh, yellow bell pepper uh, onions red bell pepper and this is our chili chopped also yeah and nobody because the yam balls I really don't like yam balls that you add fresh vegetables to me. So I always saute my veggies just one or two minutes. So I'm going to add just a little bit of omega real nut oil. This is what I'm using. So just a teaspoon of real nut oil in the pan. It's okay to saute my vegetables. I always prefer my veggies to be cooked before I add them to anything I'm going to fry because as you know the yams are already cooked so the uh, meatballs, the yam balls will go into a deep frying process so you really need to cook your veggies a little bit before you add it to your uh, yam mixture. Look at the colors. This is my favorite part. <laughs> my favorite part of cooking when you see all the veggies. You see the colors they bring when the vegetables are parboiled, halfway cooked. The colors they bring are awesome. I love this part of my cooking. 
to do. I'll just go ahead and add a pinch, just a pinch of salt because we already add some salt to our yams when boiling it, so we don't need to add too much salt. And then some black pepper. So we we'll give it a bit of heat in it. It's okay. It's okay. And you can see, look. Uh, yes, we don't need to cook over cook it. Just one, two minutes. It's okay. Yeah. The combination of the red and yellow bell pepper and the onions ooh, is heavenly. It's smelling really super here. Yeah. We are going to preheat our oil. This is vegetable oil. As usual, we need your vegetable oil. But I can also use any oil of your choice. Coconut oil is the best. Yeah, so go ahead and mash our yam. I'm using the pink salmon, the flex uh, pink uh, salmon is the best because it has a lot of Omega 3 fatty acid in it. Normally, this is my mother's recipe. She will use tuna, but I'm going for this because this channel is about eating healthy, so I always choose the healthiest one. Yeah. And then uh, instead of adding butter, I'm going to add a teaspoon of uh, raw nut oil. Yeah, for the flavors. So we are going to separate one egg yolk from the white and then we'll add it to the yam boss. So just we only need one yolk for that. And then with a clean hands, I'll go ahead and use my hand to really mix everything together. So as you can see, it's the, the mixture it's really really nice because we do this is just the way that you want it. It's just because you know it's really super nice. Yeah. So I'm going to taste for salt to see if it's enough. If it's not enough, then I'll add a little bit of salt to it. Yeah. Yam boss, the only say yet is a fufu, and I say, Panda, the yam say, fru fru yet is a day, a to, a ton, ha, sana, and say, yam boss, eh, so I'm going to taste for salt. So you have to add a little bit of salt. It's okay. Normally it's yam balls, but I always prefer the oval shape like an egg, so that's what I'm going for. Yeah. My husband really wants his yam balls round, so I'm making some round ones for him, but I prefer mine over like egg. So these are for my husband, as you can see. He wants the ball types.
a little pinch of salt. Our oil is almost ready because I did put a little bit of the yam mixture in the oil and I can see that it pops up and it's really getting in a golden brown color. So I think it's the oil is ready. You can really feel it. Our young balls and a deep frying method it's really doing very good look. Look at how crunchy the outside looks. Look. The young balls has turned out really beautiful just the way we want it. It's really crunchy. Can you hear it? Wow, look. Very perfect. Look, it's a formation. It's just the perfect texture that we are looking for. Look, and pie pie here. Because things like this, like young boss, you really need to take your time and give them a lot of love. And the young boss, authentic, yummy mm -hmm. young boss, or young croquettes, you are ready. Look, look how crunchy they are. This is a perfect yam balls for your parties, for any occasion, any special occasion, you really need this one. Try this, the combination of spring salmon and the sauteed vegetables, you are going to tighten it later. It's always nice to use fresh veggies, but not everything that you really need to do with fresh veggies. A little bit of sauteing it or powdering it is the best. So look. Our yam balls are ready. Look, so this here chicha chicha, it's really crunchy. Hear the sound. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Our yam balls are ready. Hear the sound. Very, very crunchy. And we are going to enjoy this amazing yam balls or yam croquettes. Look, I just want you to. Show how crunchy it is. Look, wow, look at the inside. Really, really beautiful. Like, yeah, just the way we want it. And we are serving it with my special yellow pepper sauce. Look, it's spicy, it's very nice, and it's very delicious. So, this is my special yellow sauce we are going to eat with thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for coming with me to make this delicious healthy yam balls or yam croquettes but if you are new to this channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and for my subscribers and everyone watching my videos this is all for you thank you so much for always coming along with me thank you i'll see you in my next video Bye.